After a gap year in 2019, China's biggest domestic music festival, Strawberry Music Festival, is back in Beijing, 11 years after its inception. Nighttime is usually when the festival really comes alive, but now it's only a bit afternoon, and we can already see fans crowded under the stage, ready to groove to their favorite artists. And even though I'm still far away from the stage, I can already hear the screams from the fans. Opening on October 5th in the capital's northern district of Yanqing, the three-day show, which coincides with China's Golden Week, is bringing back much-needed buzz to the city after the COVID-19 pandemic shattered much of the country earlier this year. As the first mega-party in the city since, attendees and organizers have pulled out all the stops for the festival. Even if the crowd is having so much fun with their idols on stage, anti-coronavirus measures still remain. Behind me, you can see infrared um, thermometers and health kit checkpoints. And on this side behind me is the observation room. You'll be taken here if you feel unwell during the festival. And on the screens, you will always see COVID prevention tips. While these measures may prove a bit of inconvenience, they do not seem to have dampened festival goers' spirits, as they seem to be enjoying the show just as much. One of the highlights of the festival was when Miu Miu, a six-year-old girl who became an internet sensation worldwide for her guitar skills, stepped on stage. Her cover of Fly Me to the Moon has ranked in nearly 7 million views on YouTube. Miu Miu shared her thoughts with CGTN. Among the crowd, there's also a girl from Wuhan who went through the worst of COVID-19 and experienced the festival in a different way. 就我們每年都要看好多場音樂節,但是這一年真的這是一年來以來的第一場,所以我覺得這種東西突然以前習以為常的東西突然變得還挺珍貴的了。The success of the event didn't come easily. The pandemic brought a lot of challenges to the music label and organizing company, Modern Sky. The biggest challenge is the schedule. Uh, because once the schedule changes, then you you need to change the everything, the lineup, the venue, a schedule and a production and a promotion and so on. But eventually, by the support uh, of the Beijing government, we made it. As COVID-19 is still an ongoing issue in the rest of the world, the cultural industry in China is reviving. And Strawberry Music Festival is just one of the many facets of it. Gunning, CGTN, Beijing.